I saw a letter which you wrote to one to Saipem and the other to Mary Techmont, uh, Techmont SPA. These are private entities which you wrote to in respect of the Potaco refinery that is being touted to be rehabilitated with 1.5 billion US dollars. Now, the question here is, we've yep. been told severally, we've been given several dates for the completion of the rehabilitation of this refinery. But it does look like the more we look, the less we see. Uh, what did you find? Because in yep. the letter, Saipem is telling you that, uh, Mr. Falano, we do not know anything about it. In fact, don't mention us again. Mer, uh, Mer and Techmov yep. are saying that we are on behalf of the, uh, the lawyers wrote on behalf of the company. But where does this letter leave us? What do we know? What is the federal government saying? Well, um, after the NMPC Limited had postponed the commission of the rehabilitated Potaco refineries, I decided to get to the root of the matter. My organization, ASCAP, Alliance on Surviving COVID-19 and Beyond, mandated me to write to the two Italian contracting firms that got this contrast. In April 2021, the Federal Executive Council approved the award of the contract for the rehabilitation of the Potaco refinery to Maya Technimont SPA to fix the two refineries for the sum of $1.5 billion. And the duration of the contract was 33 months. With respect to Saipem contracting Nigeria Limited, again, it was announced sometime in August 2021 that uh, that company has been awarded the contract to fix Wari and Kaduna refineries, again, for the sum of $1.4 billion. And the duration period was fixed for 33 months. The period is over, or the periods are over, the contract periods. So, a case of breach of both contracts has been established. Happily, both companies have sent me very revealing information with respect to the Potaco refineries. My technimont to his lawyers, wrote to me last week, please give us more time by the 2nd of October. We shall react to your request. On the 2nd of October, that company, through his lawyers, reacted to my request, declining to furnish me with information on the completion date of the rehabilitation of the two refineries. On the ground, that it is a private company. And so it is not banned by the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act with profound respect to all the lawyers and their clients. <laughs> the Court of Appeal has decided that if you are a private company and public funds are entrusted to you, you are banned by the provisions of the Act. So we are going to take up that elsewhere. Of course, I'm going to take it up in the cut. With respect to the more embarrassing situation, in fact, where Saipan is even threatening to sue me, <laughs> as it were, for causing reputational harm by alleging that this contract was awarded to them to fix the uh, Wari and Kaduna refineries. My colleagues, uh, the law firm of Ajumogobia and Okeke, has also written to me. <laughs> Whereas our client, I told you, 
that these contracts were not awarded to them. Why are you still demanding for information on the completion date of the contracts? And I have sent, I have replied to the fact that this announcement was made by the Federal Executive Council in 2021, August. After three years, you have just denied to me. You have never denied the fact that these contracts were awarded to you. And she, up to now, the Federal Executive Council has now revoked the contracts and, and awarded them to another company. So our country has to get to the root of so what can be said to be a case of monumental corruption? We are talking of $2.9 billion for a country that is said to be broke. We must now escalate this matter by inviting the relevant anti-corruption agency to assist the country to trace these funds. So, so um, Mr. Falano, the, on one hand, is the, is the trust that the Nigerian people have in its government when they make a promise of a particular project that directly impacts on their lives. So when the government continues to give a date, agree that the, the, the contractor may, not, may be having some technical problem leading to the extension of the date. But are there explanations being made to the Nigerian people? Is the government taking the Nigerian no, people no, for granted? No. These are critical questions that needs to be also asked. Yes, on one hand, the private sector, the contractor getting the job, but what about the government and the trust in the Nigerian people, in accountability and the responsibility to the Nigerian people? Now, again, the government has not been properly advised. When, I mean, what we used to know in this country is that if the government awarded a contract to a company, the government will simply summon the contractors to justify a delay in the execution of the contract. So it is not the place of the NNPC Limited or the federal government to announce when the refineries are going to be fully rehabilitated. The duty of the government is to summon the contractors to justify why a breach has occurred. And if a satisfactory explanation is not provided, the government will look at what the agreement says with respect to uh, either going to court or usually uh, an arbitration panel. In this case, I'm alleging fraud. And the government has a duty to all the Nigerian people to indict any contracting firm that has messed up the country with respect to the repairs of the refinery. If Saipen is saying to the colossal embarrassment of the government, you never awarded these contracts to us. You are deceiving the Nigerian people by saying these contracts were awarded to us. So we are going to ask the Federal Executive Council, you awarded, you approved the award of this contract, in 2021, the company that you approve the contract for now says, we know nothing about this contract. It's a very, very serious embarrassment yeah. for any modern state, any modern state. All right. The world of Portacourt has become a huge embarrassment. Even last December, the president announced that those two refineries will resume production, I mean, a, a business. And that was the information given to the president. 
I expect by now that those who embarrass the president to that extent to have been fired. All right, Mr. Falano, yeah. And that has to be done now. Yeah. A lot of the things that were said in this interview will give you an idea about why we are in the mess we are in as a country, about the, the fraud in the subsidy regime, the true state of things, what it is and what it is not. It will give you clarity about turnaround maintenance. If you have no idea what goes on in Nigeria in the oil and gas sector, how it is that the president, who currently now is Tinubu, could be fingered in the fraud that goes on in the oil and gas sector, you need to watch this interview.